Thank you, Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, my topic is uh, seismic uh, behavior of steel plate reinforced concrete. Is that right? Next. Yeah. The, the presentation is divided into f five parts. The first, we in introduction. As you know, uh, shear, shear, reinforced shear concrete is uh, the most commonly used uh, lateral uh, members for the tall buildings. But with the increase of uh, building height, the, the greater uh, gravity load and uh, lateral shear force will cause the thickness of the reinforced concrete at the bottom, the thicker and thicker. So uh, uh, it costs less usage space and a greater uh, uh, earthquake force. So we, we have to have some uh, alternative uh, ways to, to solve the problem. So we introduced uh, uh, what we call steel plate reinforced concrete shear walls. Uh, that will have a smaller thickness and less weight and uh, more use usable floor space and the smaller foundations. Uh, because of the existing of the, the steel plate, uh, you will uh, uh, have uh, fewer and uh, thinner cracks in the uh, outer concrete. And uh, because of the uh, outer concrete, you can, uh, the concrete can prevent the steel plate inside from buckling before the yield. And uh, uh, it provides uh, uh, temperature insulation, and uh, you don't need to fire, don't need the fireproof. Uh, although there are some uh, research and uh, uh, applications in the, in the past years, but we what we uh, focus on in this presentation is uh, uh, our uh, systematic re research project conducted in our uh, academy. Uh, we call it. Uh, <coughs> This kind of steel plate reinforced concrete shear wall consists of uh, 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 ordinary uh, reinforced concrete with the steel plate embedded in the middle and uh, steel profiles at both ends. It's the different from the or original steel plate, con uh, steel plate shear wall or the composite shear wall with the steel plate and the concrete encasement on both sides or one side. It's the concrete and the steel plate uh, resist the vertical load and the lateral load simultaneously. Uh, in our research, we uh, study the flexure and the shear uh, specimens and uh, we use different compressive ratios, so and finally we can uh, provide uh, uh, design formulas, and uh, that formulas and this kind of uh, shear members are included now in Chinese code, and uh, uh, were widely used after the code was uh, uh, published. Uh, now we come to the experimental uh, program. Uh, we divided uh, our specimens into two parts. The first, first part is a uh, flexural specimen, and the second is uh, shear specimens. Uh, this, from this table, you can find the, the, the details of the uh, specimens. We have uh, flexual, nine flexural specimens, uh, which include uh, three of them are reinforced concrete. We, uh, we will use the data to compare the performance uh, from the, between the reinforced concrete and the steel plate reinforced concrete. And the six reinforced the plate, uh, steel, re steel plate reinforced concrete, uh, we divided them into three groups with a different uh, axial ratio from uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. This is the size of the Shear wall is same. It's uh, the thickness is uh, 120 uh, millimeter, and the width is is uh, 800 millimeter. Uh, the steel plate is uh, four four millimeters. 
the percentage of the steel plate is about uh, three to four percent. And uh, in shear specimen, we have one uh, uh, reinforced concrete and uh, three steel plate reinforced concrete. Uh, the thickness of the wall is uh, 80 millimeter and the, the steel plate is three millimeter. You can find the, the drawings. Uh, we have, uh, this is for the uh, flexural test. We have the uh, spec ratio for uh, 2.7 and uh, we designed the horizontal uh, rebars to prevent the the shear failure of this kind of uh, flexural moment, uh, flexural member. And this is uh, the shear test. We, uh, uh, we use the uh, aspect uh, ratio as uh, 1.5 and uh, we have uh, more uh, rebars and uh, steel, uh, steel profiles at the end to, to prevent it from the bending failure. So, so we uh, use different kind of specimens to, uh, to test the different performance under flexural failure and uh, shear failure. This is the fabrication of uh, the specimen. You can find the reinforced concrete and steel plate reinforced concrete and the, after they have finished, they have the same uh, size and the, <coughs> this is uh, the shear specimens reinforcement and the steel plate reinforcement. Uh, which we test all the properties uh, for the materials, uh, including a concrete and the steel, uh, steel plate and the rebars. So we, we will use these uh, properties for each specimen uh, when we uh, compare the uh, calculations result and the test result. Uh, this uh, test setup, we fixed the specimens uh, by post tension rods to the ground and uh, use a strong wall and a, a hydraulic jet to pr uh, provide uh, lateral force. Uh, we use a low frequency uh, cyclic lateral force to uh, test, to do the test. And another hydraulic jet to to provide the vertical load. The, the vertical load is kept uh, constant during the test. During the test, we uh, focus on the behavior of the specimens and the damage pattern and the hysteretic characteristics and the loading capacity and the ductilities. Uh, now we can, uh, uh, we, during the flexural uh, test, we divided the, the test into four phases. Uh, the first phase, uh, we call it elastic phase. Uh, because of the existing of vertical load uh, and the small uh, lateral load, there are no uh, cracks in, in the wall and the displacement uh, and force curve kept uh, linear. The second, uh, with the increasing of uh, lateral loads, the cracks at the, the bottom and end uh, occurs and the curves bend. And then we come to the, failure, uh, the, the yielding phase, the, the cracks grow growth and uh, the strength comes to the peak strength, peak value. And then to the failure phase, uh, concrete at both ends uh, failed and the, and the strength decreased to, uh, we define the failure point to when the, the strength comes to 85% uh, of the peak value. So you can find in the damage pattern. Uh, in the column, this, this column is uh, uh, reinforced concrete and uh, these two columns are steel plate reinforced concrete. This, the rows are for different actual uh, compressive ratio. You can find that at the same actual compressive ratio, 
uh, steel plate reinforced concrete have more uh, cracks, but the cracks are more intensive and thinner. Uh, you can you can find that the, uh, the 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 members can dissipate more more uh, uh, energies, and uh, for different compressive ratio, actual compressive ratio, uh, the 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 higher the compressive ratio, the the less and uh, in the wide uh, cracks. <laughs> you can see clearly in these uh, pictures, uh, there are the hysteretic characteristics. Uh, this is for concrete, and the uh, reinforced concrete shear walls, and these are for, for a steel plate reinforced concrete, the, the different actual compressive ratio. <coughs> You can find steel plate reinforced concrete can provide uh, much higher uh, strength and uh, better deformation uh, ability and uh, dissipate more uh, energies. This is the compression ratio versus the uh, capacity. A bit, uh, this for concrete, reinforced concrete, and this for steel plate reinforced concrete. You can find the steel plate can provide the extra 20% uh, uh, to 30% extra strength with the reinforced concrete in bending. And uh, this is ductility uh, with the increase of the actual compressive ratio. Uh, the ductility is decreased, but the, the ductility is for uh, steel plate uh, reinforced concrete is uh, better than the normal reinforced concrete. This is for the shear specimens, uh, the damage pattern. You can find the uh, reinforced concrete and the steel plate reinforced concrete. Uh, it's, uh, you can find a similar uh, result from the uh, the Flexual uh, test. Uh, this is loading capacity for reinforced concrete and uh, steel plate reinforced concrete. You can find that the steel plate reinforced concrete wall can provide almost double the the strength of uh, re normal reinforced concrete and the. the the maximum uh, deformation ability, this is uh, maximum drift, storage drift. Uh, for reinforced concrete, uh, the, uh, the maximum deformation will be, uh, at the failure point, will be about uh, between 1 over 200 to 1 over 100. But for the steel plate reinforced concrete, it can stand up to about uh, 1 over 40 to 1 over 60. So the uh, deformation ability uh, for the steel plate reinforced concrete wall is uh, very better than, than uh, that of uh, reinforced, normal reinforced concrete. Uh, now we, uh, after that, we analyze the, the data from the test and uh, provide the, can provide the, some uh, design uh, formula for this kind of uh, steel plate reinforced concrete walls. This is the string within the steel plate uh, uh, in the specimens. You can find uh, it basically uh, follow the plain section uh, assumptions. So we can use the traditional way to establish the, the equi equilibrium equations f from the uh, axial force and the bending moment. And uh, then you can solve the equations to get the strength of the reinforced uh, uh, steel plate reinforced shear wall. And uh, for the shear strength, we use a uh, superposition uh, principle. Uh, we divided this, the strength into four parts. The first part is for the concrete and the actual, actual force. 
And the second part is uh, for the bars. Third for the pro end profiles and uh, the fourth for the steel plate. Uh, all these uh, equations, uh, formulas are, uh, were included in Chinese code. And uh, we compare the result. This is for the uh, calculation and this is for the uh, test, we can find that the, the formula has good coherence and a certain reliability. Now we come to the conclusion. Uh, the first, uh, steel plate reinforced concrete specimen have more crack and, than reinforced concrete one, but the cracks are more intensive and thinner. A second, the, Steel plate reinforced concrete walls have better hydrostatic uh, characteristics and uh, uh, more lateral load capacity and better deformation capacity. Uh, third, as actual compressive ratio increase, the flexuous specimens peak uh, lateral load input, uh, increased, but the ductility uh, factor was reduced. And then the, finally, the formula proposed has uh, good coherence with uh, the test result and uh, the have a certain uh, reliability. Uh, after the, this uh, kind of uh, shear wall included, uh, were included in the code, uh, it's uh, widely used in China. Uh, I can say almost all the buildings over 400, maybe 300 meters high, the, the shear wall at the bottom we, we used, uh, were, were used with uh, this kind of uh, steel plate reinforced uh, plate uh, shear walls. And uh, I can show you some uh, examples uh, because, uh, like that in Guangzhou, uh, Chotak Folk, Tower, it's uh, four, uh, 530 meters high uh, building. Uh, originally, uh, the, the thickness of the wall at the bottom is uh, 2.2 meters. And uh, after use of the about 4% uh, uh, steel plate, it's, uh, become, it becomes to 1.8. And uh, we do some further research to use uh, high strength uh, concrete, uh, not included in this presentation, but we will uh, present in, uh, in the following. Uh, uh, after that, we change the concrete from uh, C60 to C80. Uh, the thickness becomes to one, 1.5. So, so that is, uh, uh, the result. You can get uh, about uh, almost 20% uh, to 30% with each, one, each step. So it, it comes from 2.2 to 1.7 uh, or 1.5. Uh, so I think it's a good uh, option for super high rise buildings. Uh, and I learned uh, Learn, learn, the word, learn some words from the iPhone 5 advertise. It will be thinner, it will be lighter, and uh, more space, and better behavior. Thank you. <laughs>